Well, here we are. We have come to the end of a journey. Many of you will have completed your A-level journey and now you're going to be going on to university. So this is like our goodbye video for many of you. Um, so before we get to goodbyes, um, we'd like to salute you guys as well, just as we did with the year 11s. Yeah. Uh, so here it is. Well done for the hard work that you have done this year. These guys have had it a lot more... Yeah. Tougher than the year 11s yeah, Obviously they, they haven't done the year 12 exams And then the year, year 11s Yeah, This is like, the first so, real exam that they did Yeah. So salute you guys so, yo, Yeah, Well for done for your, all your hard work And preparation um, Hopefully it paid off um, Now we just have to wait and obviously find out in summer See yeah. how it goes That's all you can do yeah And we wish you the best with your grades And we hope that you get your university placements uh, Apprenticeships Whatever it is that you've gone on to do you know, we wish you the very best success in all of that. So very quickly, let's review that last paper free. Yes. So you had made a few notes when you looked for the paper. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I actually took the paper last night and tried it myself because um, when my students came out, they said they found it hard. Mm. Like they said both stats and mechanics apparently was, was hard. Um, so I've done the stats paper last night mm. and I don't even teach stats. Um, but if I make the comparison, I actually found stats easier than the mechanics paper. I, I, I think of a question where how long it takes to think. Um, with the mechanics, there were a few questions in there that actually needed more thinking time. So mm. even though they had those three marks. Can you but, give us an example? Um, it's like with the, the uh, inclined plane one where the friction wasn't given. So you have to decide which way to put the friction. Normally, it says in the question that it's in limiting equilibrium or object is moving up or down and you can figure out the direction of the friction. But mm. the action actual question was built in such a way for you to state the direction of friction. So, so can a student make an assumption that their friction is this direction and just go yeah, with of that? Course. What would happen? Of course, though, if they, if they get it the wrong way around, then they will, they will end up with a negative friction. And that means the direction would have been... It's the other way around. Way. So someone, obviously, doing this way might end up thinking, well, you know what, do what, might end up doing twice the amount of work needed for that question. So hence, more time needed, even though it's three marks. So they might even redraw the, draw the diagram. Obviously, obviously, us, we can just quickly do a little change in the formula and yeah. we can rearrange it. Mm. But someone else might need to draw another diagram. Only a diagram and, with all the components and, and more, all the annotations. And then all that. Involved. So I felt that question was um, like... What about the statistics as well? You also mentioned about that Venn diagram. It was like a GCSE Venn diagram. <laughs> I was so laughing at that question. It was like, it's just a frequency for a, a Venn diagram. So you're given all the conditions, you work out the numbers and then you know, fill in the Venn diagram. It so wasn't much. Just like GCSE. It was a two-way table. Two-way table. Yeah, so you, got, yeah. you got a class A, class B, mm. and you got you know, professionals, elites, and so on. And you're given the numbers within each group. And you're given what like, percentages are from each group. So Yeah, so it <laughs> was pretty quite... It's quite simple. Yeah, and I was like, you know, I was like, and then the probabilities as well, you can actually book them out by just looking at the Venn diagram. Mm -hmm. so even, the, even, even the conditional one, yeah. I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't need to use a formula. I just knew that it's out of that group mm. and there's how many there is. So you get the fraction. But I had some students coming out and they were saying that, well, mechanics was hard. They've never seen questions like that. The pulleys didn't come up. Even, a lot of I had, I had even, like, even, the, even the stacks of questions of paper, one of my students said, oh, sir, like even the statistics paper, I've be never seen those kind of types of questions. I'm not thinking what. So what? Was that I think different? I, I think I think it's think, yeah, because we'll... it's because they haven't done like exams since year eleven, and all these questions that are similar to the GCSE as well, they haven't had yeah. a chance to go through those. So the easy stuff I think they've found, found difficult because they are just focused on mm. all the hard stuff. Mm. Last point, one of the comments uh, that people have been making online is that they didn't get to finish the content with their schools. Yeah. So many students went into these exams having not completed the entire mechanics co content or the statistics or whichever way you know, your school's done them. What kind of problems would those guys have faced? I mean, could they have relied on just doing exam papers and questions to but prepare they, for these exams? All they can do is, is just focus on the advanced information, I guess, mm. and just... Um, exam question based mm. on, on those topics. Yeah, I mean, um, in a normal year, that would be terrible. But because this year they had the advanced information, they knew the kind of questions that would be appearing. Although we did mention in one of our earlier even, videos, the advanced information wasn't very helpful. Yeah, even, it was quite generic. Yeah, even, even though these questions weren't enough, you still need to know the... You need to have an understanding of the methods that you apply. So not just blindly applying that. The friction question, mm. uh, the inclined plane one, they, had, they, gave, you, they gave you the reaction and you had to resolve it mm. in order to work out the the x value first. And that's something that they do on 
all those types of questions yeah. all the time. Resolving forces. And it's, it's, it's like working backwards in, in that sense. So yeah. well, all the other questions you're working forward, I resolve this way, resolve that way, have the equations, you know, figure out what you need to figure out. But this one, you were given one value and you had to like kind of do it backwards. A lot of students would look at this as paper free, counting for one third of the overall um, grade. Mm -hmm. Do you think a lot of students, that alone would have made them sort of step back from the work that they put in? To yeah. that because they would have thought that, you know, they got pure, done, covered, that yeah. would have... Plus, plus they had other exams taking place at the same time, so they might, might have just said, you know, I'm just going to spend the last week or so yeah. on, on mechanics and statistics. So let us know um, if you're one of those students who sort of held back with the effort that you put in for paper free, simply because of the waiting or in your final grade. If you did do that, uh, what were your reasons for it? Was it because of the waiting itself or uh, was it because you had other exams? Going on. Let us know your uh, thoughts about that and general comments how you found that paper. What can they do for the summer? Um, they can, you know. I think right now is you know roughly how you did in exams. Um, if you feel like uh, you've met those grades you need, then obviously uh, it's time for you to relax and enjoy the summer. Even for why someone, someone stressing? Why someone stressing? Right now you, you can't do much apart from just enjoy yourself. To, you, know, to, you know, take a time out, yeah. relax. Um, enjoy the calm before the storm. Okay. Yeah. Like, like, when the grades come out and the clearing starts, yeah. you know, at least spend some time in researching. How? In you know what else, what, what else you can do with with what you may get. Yeah. So when it comes to clearing, you know, you got to have other options you can dive into. You know, when you get that's that. That's what chance. I was just gonna say. Yeah. So you, yeah, that's fine. So have backup options. Yeah. yeah. All right. With that, guys. Goodbye for now. Yeah. Take care.